Live at 5. The wife of Fresno County Supervisor Nathan Magsig says she's shaken up tonight after dozens of cars surrounded her family's home yesterday in protest. It felt very violating and made me very uncomfortable. And thank you for joining us tonight for Action News Live at 5. Good evening, I'm Margo Kim. And I'm Warren Armstrong. Magsig was out of town last night and his wife Julie was home alone when members of a local health care union demonstrated outside their home in Clovis. Action News reporter Gabe Ferris had a chance to interview Julie Magsig today. He joins us now in the studio with what she and a local attorney had to say about this demonstration. Gabe? Margot and Warren, Julie Magsig told me that while she recognizes her husband is a public servant who lives in the public eye, she feels that what happened outside her home last night crossed a line. Dozens of cars with honking horns and flashing lights surrounded the homes of at least two Fresno County Board Supervisors Thursday night. Julie Magsig says it was around 6.30 p.m. Thursday. She was getting ready to run an errand. When she opened her garage door, she said dozens of cars were blocking her street and driveway. I was getting ready to leave in my car wondering how I was going to actually back out because there were so many cars circling the cul-de-sac. The cars were part of a protest organized by the SEIU 2015 union. The union represents long-term care workers statewide, about 21,000 in Fresno County alone. Union officials say the Fresno County Board of Supervisors wants to cut health care benefits for providers in a county program that subsidizes in-home care. On Thursday, members gathered at the union's office in East Central Fresno before taking part in a, quote, car caravan that targeted the homes of Nathan Magsig and Steve Brandau, two outspoken county supervisors. You can see several cars in the video taken near Brandau's home. The union says it was a, quote, five-minute peaceful action, but Magsig disagrees. There was nothing peaceful about it. They were clearly loud, honking your horn, 15, 20 cars in a cul-de-sac, very small cul-de-sac at that. The county sheriff's office told Action News that after learning about the protest, deputies conducted patrols around the homes of all five board supervisors. But while the car caravan seemed to ruffle feathers, Action News legal analyst Tony Capozzi says union members have a right to peacefully protest on public roads. When you're in public office, you're, you open yourself up to uh, criticism, to protests like this. You ask for the job. You got the job, and now you got to bear the burden. In a lengthy statement to Action News tonight, the union president said the group's members are essential workers who face low wages and often struggle to make ends meet. The president said that the county board of supervisors have refused to negotiate for over a month. We have more of the union statement on our website. Live in the studio, Gabe Ferris, ABC 30, Action News.